Very rich, very powerful, and a man who usually gets his own way. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, seen here at Royal Ascot with the Queen, has been ordered by the High Court in London to pay his sixth wife and their two children more than half a billion pounds, not just to maintain their lifestyles, but also their security. The usual way of dealing with these types of cases is seeing what the assets are worth, where, how much they're worth, and, and the level of settlement in, in that respect a party is going to get. Um, but this is completely out of um, the norm. In 2019, Princess Haya fled from Dubai to Britain with her children, claiming her life was in danger and that Sheikh Mohammed had abducted two of his other daughters, including Princess Latifa, who subsequently broadcast this cry for help on social media. I'm, I'm a hostage and uh, this villa has been converted into a jail. All the windows are barred shut. I can't open any window. Sheikh Mohammed denied this allegation, even though a separate High Court ruling last year found it was likely to be true. As part of today's settlement, Princess Haya and her children will receive a single payment of £251 million, two houses in Surrey and London, a £3 million education fund and security payments totalling £11 million a year, which are part of a bank guarantee worth up to £290 million. In making today's award, Mr Justice Moore said Princess Haya and her children are particularly vulnerable and need watertight security to ensure their continued safety. Most importantly in this regard, and absolutely uniquely, the main threat they face is from Sheikh Mohammed himself. During the custody battle, Sheikh Mohammed was found to have ordered the use of specialist spy software to hack into his wife and her legal team's phones, a ruling he said was unfair as he denied any knowledge of the hacking. Following today's judgment, a spokesman for the billionaire said he'd always ensured his children were provided for. Now Princess Haya has ensured their safety as well. Nick Wallace, ITV News at the High Court in London.